So let's have a, just a quick round robin. Where's everybody from? Different countries. Just shout out where you're from. Singapore. 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 Fantastic. Uh, Gary from Kurt. Singapore. Dubai. Dubai. UK. UK. Great. Dubai. Dubai. Gibraltar. Who's from Gibraltar? No, Jakarta. Oh, Jakarta. Oh, great. Jakarta. Uh, is my friend Michael still there? Michael. He's got a he's got a firm in uh, Jakarta there. I'm just trying to think of his surname. Blonde guy. I worked with his team there many years ago. Uh, Mike, Michael Whiting. He was in Jakarta. Okay, I think we're going to get going. By the way, I just want to tell you all now, I'm going to be going in and out of PowerPoint. We're going to have a lot of fun today as well. But I sometimes I get so excited that, uh, that's just, I get so excited that I, I start talking about what's on the screen and I forget that I'm not sharing. So just shout at me, just unmute yourself. Hey, Frank, we can't see your screen because I do get really excited in these things. Yeah. Also, any questions you've got, just put those into the little question box there and uh, we can be speaking about that. Is that Andrew Eden I see there? Andrew. Hello. Where's your video, Andrew? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea here. <laughs> it was interesting. I was working with Andrew in Hong Kong last year. So uh, that was great. What, what I love about this business. Oh, there's Andrew. How are you doing, my buddy? Thank you, and you. It's so great that I've got friends all over the world uh, that I've made through this business. But... Uh, so let's get right into it now. I'm going to share the screen. As I say, just shout at me, ask any questions, and uh, let's go right in, yeah? So we're going to be talking about the sales strategies for financial advisors, and really where I started out was in a little mining village in South uh, Africa. Yeah, let's go that one, yeah. In fact, let me just, I'm just going to come out and mute everybody, yeah? Let's go there. Yeah. I've got a bird as well. Let's go there, mute all. Now what I've heard here we go. Um, yes, I came from South Africa, grew up in a little mining village. My dad was a miner. We didn't have much money, but we lived on Dolomite. And, and every day or every time it rained, the village would sink a little bit. And about two days after my ninth birthday, four o'clock in the morning, screaming and shouting, you've got to get out of the village. And that's the sinkhole that appeared over there. Um, one family disappeared, never to be seen again. And we left the village that morning. The village was sealed off, all of our clothes. Moved in with my grandmother, grew up pretty poor. Uh, but my dad started his own firm at 48, and he was pretty successful. But I was really average at school. I was average in every area, except with the girls. Jeez, there I was way below average. I want to tell you, I looked like a nerd, but I didn't have the brains. But I got into one thing. I got into music. And I remember one of my school teachers saying to me, Frank, you will never amount to anything in life. You will be a drug addict on the street corners just because I was playing drums in a band. Anyway, I left school, uh, studied accountancy, did really, really badly, got fired for being the most disruptive employee after 10 months, and then did what I always wanted to do. I became a drummer in a rock band. And that was like the best job on the planet. Did that for about seven or eight years. I, I didn't make much money. But the fringe benefits were unbelievable. There's a book in that sometime. And uh, after eight years, I found the love of my life, got married, and I had to get a real job. I didn't know what to do, but I had a friend who was a financial advisor. Knocked on the door of the manager. I failed three interviews. I failed three aptitude tests. But I phoned him every day for three months, eight o'clock in the morning. When am I starting? When am I starting? And eventually he gave in. And I started my career and absolutely loved it because for the first time I, I didn't have a boss and as hard as I worked, I could make as much money as I wanted to. I, I got introduced to the world of goal setting and from being a poor musician with no money, after six months, I had a new Mercedes. The second year, my wife and I spent three months traveling the world and I just loved the world of uh, financial services. Built up a big team over the next 10 years and in 1993, moved over to London, joined three other financial advisors, and from not knowing a soul, didn't know anybody, know where to start, um, 
My first year, I qualified for million dollar round table, top of the table. I did that for the next four years. But the one thing that happened in 1993, when I joined them, they set me a target of 20,000 pounds commission per month. If I'd worked for any other firm, 5,000 pounds would have made me number one in the company. And that just made me think so much bigger. And I've always thought about that. Just think way bigger than anyone else. About 10 years ago, uh, one of my friends and I, we started another firm in uh, London and we started using that same kind of methodology. Oh, that was me. And uh, this is the two of us over here. Total opposites. I'm very outgoing, expressive. He's very six o'clock in the morning, fig facts and figures. So that was a pretty good combination. But this is our team over here. And what we decided, I'm huge on target marketing. So what we found is we had advisors all over London and then eventually we said, what works best? Let's just do North London because that's where we work best. Who were our best advisors? 23 to 33 year olds in the market we were in. And those are the kind of people we recruited in. This is me taking our team out. I love to take them out to the races take them to go and play tennis, soccer, whatever it is. The social side is just fantastic. We sold it off about a year and a half ago, but this is my top guy over here. Uh, this picture was taken about two years ago. And this guy's a maverick. I love the mavericks in the business. He is the ultimate hunter, absolutely fearless. Take a thousand pounds out of his pocket and pay to go to a top charity do so he can mix with the right kind of people. Uh, is terrible at details and follow-up. So we put a team in behind him to do all the follow-up because rather let him do what he's really good at. Uh, in his best month, he did uh, just over a hundred thousand pounds in commission. Uh, and then, I mean, he was strutting around like a peacock until one of the girls in our office did 120,000 pounds in one month. But, you know, right up until we sold the business, all of our advisors were earning five to 10 times as much as the average in our industry because we really made them do things differently and think big. Adam over here, I used to go and take a look at his Facebook page and uh, we big soccer fans over there. And there he is with some of the guys from the Brazilian team, you know, Roberto Carlos, Rivaldo, Roman Vega. How does he do that? We also, on our interviewing process, we asked one question on the first interview, who do you support? And if anyone mentioned Arsenal, they were out of the door because we are Spurs team and uh, we sold one of our players. There he is with uh, Kyle Walker. And then I go into it one day again and there he is with Mike Tyson and they're sitting biting each other's ears. And I love this. I love the Mavericks. And again, among so many of you there are the Mavericks, these sort of superstars I know all around the world in financial services. So I love our business. Ah, by the way, today, Here's a little thing just for coming on the webinar. And uh, for those of you that have been on my webinars, know I love doing this. I'm going to be giving away two prizes at the end of it. I've put together a, uh, a webinar on selling from home. It's $47. But I'm going to, if you stay right to the end, I'm going to pull two names out of the hat. And uh, I don't know if they from this afternoon or this morning. But there'll be anyone want to win? Anyone want to win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, we've got a few. Great, so we'll be pulling some of those out later on. We'll have two winners. So let's go straight back into it here again. What I also love is attitude and motivation. That's the best thing about our business. That's why I love being around financial advisors. This is a good friend of mine. The great thing now, speaking around the world, I work with millionaires and billionaires, and these people are just amazing. This is a guy here called Arvid Albanese. And when he was at school, he was told that he was stupid, left school at 16. He didn't realize that he was dyslexic and started fixing air conditioners. Uh, at the age of 21, started his first business. At the age of 39, sold it for 80 million, started his second business, which he sold two years ago for 100 million. And the thing he said to me, was, it was all about goals. When he started, he wanted to buy his first jet. So he went and got a life-size picture, put it in front of his double garage. And every time he drove in, he would see it pretty soon he had it. Then he wanted a helicopter, put a picture of that there. And uh, that was us last year when I was back in Orlando flying in his helicopter. He lives out in Fort Lauderdale. So he flew over, picked me up, went over to his house. And it was quite interesting because these guys, they're millionaires and billionaires, but they are still so focused. They love their business. 
I stayed at his house like a mansion and he said, breakfast tomorrow morning. I said, yeah, that's cool. What time? Eight o'clock. And he looked at me like I was from another planet. He says, five o'clock, Frank. That's what time my day starts. And anyone that follows me on uh, LinkedIn knows now my first post goes up at five o'clock in the morning. Learning from these guys that a great early start really works well. Again, that's me in the helicopter there. So I love being with these people and what they're doing. Also, our business has changed massively. Uh, when I think about it, that's what happened when I first started. Anyone else remember those days where, you know, I remember a lot of the offshore guys in the old days, you'd come in and you'd just bang away at the phones. You know, people would swear at me, they'd put down the phone. But when I started, that's all we had. And all I worked on was activity. Phone 20 people a day, four appointments, one sale. And today I still do the same activity, except cold calling has now moved to LinkedIn. We then went to the, the old way that we learned. Remember, it was, a, it was a sales pitch. We had exactly the same sales pitch that we would use on everyone. I remember my first training course. This is the way that you do it. And uh, in fact, when I started in the 80s, when you think about it, you had to set up an appointment. Most of the appointments were at night. So I'd have two appointments every night. But you'd have to go in, meet a stranger, develop rapport, sit in the lounge there with the whole family, do a fact find while you're over there, get your rate book out and work out the rates. There's no quotations or anything. Find the rates while they're sitting watching you. Close them, get out the application form, get them to sign and go. I mean, how crazy is that? When you learn to sell like that, you, you can sell anything. Now it's so much easier. You've got the quotations, you've got teams behind you, but it was a great way of learning how to sell. Here again. Then I come over to London and that was a whole different thing. It was all about relationships. It was weird for me because like my first appointment was 12 o'clock and that was in a pub. I come from South Africa where you get fired for drinking. I come to London and I'm, I'm told you've got to drink. And I go and meet somebody at lunchtime. This guy will have four pints and he'll go back to work. I'm like, whoa, how do you do that? My next appointment's at four. Somebody has four pints again. And it was a great way of doing business, but I think I would have become an alcoholic if we stayed doing that. Remember, then we went on to the solution advantage benefits. That was what everybody taught us. And then we had the whole pipeline coming in. But things have changed so much and we've all adapted. We've all changed. And I mean, that's the biggest change that we've just got now. Because now all of a sudden we've got to sell from home. We've got to work from home. So how do we change? How do we adapt? So what I want to speak about today is almost my home blueprint. And for me, working from home, there's a couple of things we've got to do. The H is more for habits. I put their home, but it's habits. You've got to form the right kinds of habits. And I remember when, when I started in the business, it was at getting in eight o'clock, pick up the phone, see four people a day, five sales a week. I've still got those same kind of habits. Optimize now is how do we optimize ourselves to be found on LinkedIn and other kinds of profiles? How do we become mobile now? So many businesses I know say, well, we're going to keep working from home. Why do we need to pay exorbitant rents over there? And what we've got now is great platforms for establishing our expertise. We've got things like LinkedIn. There are so many brilliant tools out there. So today we're going to just look at three things there, prospecting, connecting, and communicating. And the first thing I want to look at is prospecting. And for me, prospecting has always been the lifeblood. I mean, everyone on this call today, there's no way I can teach you how to sell. All of you are experts once you get in front of a client. The hard thing is just finding who the right client is and sitting in front of them. If we know who our target client is, we're going to do well. I guarantee every one of you, I can put you in front of anybody, and you're so good at the sale, you'll be brilliant, you'll sell. But it's finding the right thing. So it's all about who's your target audience. And for me, a big lesson was when I came to London, I had to decide who I would become the expert in. And I decided on two lots of people. One was dentists, and the other one was computer consultants. And I immersed myself in those. I went to every dentist conference, computer consultant conference. I uh, went to the recruiting companies, joined up with them, uh, did some joint ventures with them. And 
Uh, I became the go-to man in dentistry. I'd go and see a dentist. I'd know everything about a dentist's practice. And guess what happens? They know a hundred other dentists and they start referring you and you become the person, the go-to person. And that's what got me to the million dollar round table, top of the table uh, in the first couple of years that I was uh, in England. Um, I think in my top year, I wrote about a million dollars worth of commission, but it was being right in front of the right kind of people. And this was going back to 1993. So it's all about target prospecting. Who is your ideal customer? And again, if we do a shotgun approach, we're never going to be the expert in anything. So even now in speaking, I specialize in financial advisors, I specialize in CEO groups, and I specialize in health and fitness. Those are my clients. If I'm going to target anybody, those are the people I'm going to go and look for. So who's got the problem you can solve? They've got the time, they've got the money. By the way, this is the best time ever to be selling financial services. No one can come up with the excuse, I don't have the time. They've all got the time. And those with money are all saying, what do I do now? Do I move my investments? It's a great time to be in front of people. They're engaged with you. They like what you're doing, have the same worldview. And uh, I want to show you, yeah, this is one of my clients I work with in London. They're called Jellyfish pictures. So I'm working with them and we're talking about targeted prospecting. And no one will have heard of this company, but you would have seen them everywhere. They're an animation company. They do all of the animation for all of the Harry Potter, Star Wars, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I'm sitting with their sales team and I said, okay, let's, we're going to prospect, but we're going to, who's your target audience? And we asked these three questions and you've got to ask the same things over here. And they said, I said, how do you want to be found on an internet or a LinkedIn search? And they said animation and VFX company or best VFX company, animation and visual effects studio, animation studio. The second question I said to them, what kind of solutions do you provide? And again, for everyone on this call, we all have different kinds of solutions. You know, some of us are just in the wealth business. Others are in the health business. Some of us like Android in the property business. So what kind of solutions do you provide? We have somebody types that in, you come up. So they put in movie animation, visual effects, VFX. And then over there, who do we sell to? So remember mine was dentists and computer consultants. So they came up with visual effects supervisors, producers, broadcasters, post-production, post-production companies, directors. So who do you want to become the specialist, the go-to person with? So I'm going to look at some uh, advanced search strategies. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out of here. And I was just playing around this morning before we started. And I love a thing called Boolean searches. In fact, I was working with Andrew and his firm last year, and we sat playing around with some of these things in Hong Kong. You remember that, Andrew? That was some fun there. So Boolean searches, and again, we don't have enough time to go through it today, but it's all about learning what the plus, the minus is, what the brackets are, the ors. So this morning, I just said, um, let's say I was going to go and work in Perth, and I was going to specialize again. I want to sell to dentists. I put in dentists or dental plus Australia plus birth. I want to find any association directories. And I did a search and I've come up with 455,000 results. Now you've got to play around a little bit and start searching through some of these. But in, in the sort of four or five minutes this morning, I found quite a few things. There's a whole member directory I found that I could start with. There we go. There's a the name, where they are, phone numbers, email addresses. I've got tons of stuff. I've got 371 people that I can go and start with. If I was going to Perth, I was starting in financial services. I can go into any of these people over here, find out everything about them. Um, so it's a great way of doing things. But then another easy way is through LinkedIn. Now, again, uh, one or two of you have been on my working from home, so you've seen this. But I, on, on LinkedIn, they want to charge you 80 bucks a month to do the advanced search. What I'll say to everybody is please subscribe to the lowest one, the $20 or 20 pounds a month, 
because that gives you a chance to see everyone that's looking at your profile. But here's an alternative to the search, the advanced search. And this is a little website called recruitin.net, R-E-C-R-U-I-T-I-N.net, recruitin.net. Now, this one is, is fantastic because let's say I was going to go over, I'm going to go and work for Con now in Dubai. And I'm going to specialize in lawyers. So I'll come in here, I'll put in United Arab Emirates. And I'm just going to look for lawyers. But I want Australian lawyers because I'm an Australian today. I'm going to look for Australian lawyers. And I'm just going to come and I'm going to hit the search, find the right people, open in Google. And there we go. I've got everybody that might be an Australian lawyer working in Dubai. So now I could come through here, let's see these lawyers. So there's a lawyer there. And uh, let's see what comes up here. Executive lawyer, he's from Sydney, he's working in Dubai now. So that's the ideal kind of person. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to him. By the way, you'll see all kinds of other little goodies come up here as well. And I'll tell you about those in my course later on. But this is a little add-on that I have over here, which I can just go in and let's pull this out of the way. That will pull up the guy's domain. If he's got an email, it'll pull up all of the details about that guy. So I, I, I invest in a lot of little add-ons. I use a thing called LinkedIn Helper. I use another one called Meet Alfred. All of these little things that assist me uh, this one over here, I'm just trying to think what this one is called. Uh, oh, there it is there. So that on, on any LinkedIn will pull up the, the little things that you're seeing there. So I can go and connect with them, find all of their details. So yeah, I'll go to another one. So there's Guy Russell, Australian lawyer. So if I'm an Aussie, I can go in and this is who I'd start targeting when I'm working in Dubai, I might have a law degree myself. So there we go, senior lawyer over there. I want to connect with him. I'll just hit the little button over there. I can then go. And if you're going to connect with somebody, you have to have the right kind of message. I'm not just going to put there, let's connect. You want to actually write something where uh, you're developing some kind of rapport. So that brings us to the next area here. Yeah? Uh, I'll show you that in a few minutes on how we connect. But here's a couple of other great tools. <coughs> if, often we want to find out the emails of people over here. So this is a great tool called egrabber.com. egrabber.com. And uh, this is going to give me their emails. And uh, sometimes when I get those lists, so remember I would have done that Boolean search. By the way, in my course, I do a, a huge section on how to do Boolean searches, but now I get lists and lists of people, but half of those email addresses don't work anymore. So then I use a little thing here called verify-email.org, verify-email.org, and that'll verify those email addresses for me. This is actually my favorite one here called Hunter. Uh, because this one, I can almost go into any company and I can get a list of the emails of those people. So uh, I do a lot of work in Florida with a, an organization called Vistage, world's biggest CEO organization. Uh, let's just go into Hunter, yeah? And uh, so they're called Vistage Florida. Let's just put in here. Yeah. Let's see if it's going to work for me. Vistage. Uh, VestigeFlorida.com. And let's see if I can get their email addresses. Boom. How's that? I've got everyone in the company. I've got all of the email addresses. Isn't that great? So anytime I need an email, I just use this cool little tool. You, you know what's the best part? It's free. I love free. So there we go. I've got all of those there, which is fantastic. So let's have a look at a couple of other things here. The next thing is 
connecting to clients. And this is really, really important. What is the message that you actually put in for them? Now, any one of you, so we're all over the world. I want you all to go onto your, your iPads or your iPhones and just do a search for sales technology speaker and see what comes up. I want you to see if I come up. So Andrew, try that in Hong Kong. I know we did it there before. I shouldn't be coming up in your countries. I mean, it'd be interesting even in Jakarta to see if I come up there. So if we have a look at that, am I coming up on the first page? Yeah, there, Michael, I'm on the first page there. Any other countries? Oh, there we go, Andrew, I'm on the top there. Con, I'm in Dubai. So how's the cool thing Yeah, I own the first page for that phrase all over the world. I've tried it, I was in China last year, Thailand, uh, everywhere. I own the first page. And all of you can do the same kind of thing if you get a phrase that's not too broad, like wealth advisor, you wouldn't want a wealth manager, but best wealth manager in Dubai, best wealth manager, Hong Kong, best property, you know, find a, a what they call a long tail phrase. And then you start putting that into every kind of social media post that you do. <coughs> Let's go to the share screen. So let's see why I'm doing well. Well, two reasons. I'm going to, oh, by the way, I'm going to show you my new course later on, my new baby that I'm just letting go today. And in that, I talk about video. So the one thing I do is twice a week, I make a new video. In every video, I have sales technology speaker. And I have it in three different places. And that gets me onto the front page of Google. But yes, the other thing, if I do the same thing on LinkedIn, just by optimizing your LinkedIn profile, you can get onto the front page. I mean, an interesting thing here is, let's say I was in Dubai, just go and do a search for best wealth manager in Dubai and see who comes up. Because, you know, if I'm an expat, I'm coming to work in Dubai, that's what I'm going to type in. I've just arrived over here. Uh, I've got a job working for Emirates. I'm going to put in, uh, let's see who comes up. Best, uh, And do this in each of your countries. So it might be in York as well. So go and put that in York. And localize it as well. Because if I live in York, and I'm going to be selling to someone in Southampton. I want to go and see the people in my area. Now, these are the competitions. Can you see all the little monkeys coming up? So this is going to be my competition. I'm an expat. I don't know anything. I know I've got my pension in the UK. And maybe I want to do something with it. So there's Daniel Barron. There's Oliver Morris over there. And by the way, if you're not up here, you've got to do some serious thinking. And, and by the way, I also run some sessions for any of the companies. If you want me to come in and do personalized sessions, Jitten will know I've done some work with his company already. But yeah, all of these people stand a way better chance than you do because they're coming up on the first page of a LinkedIn search. Now, why is this guy coming up here? This guy is really, really clever because he's got those key words in the most important place over here that the search engines come to. So he's got their pension and retirement planning specialist. I think this guy must have been on one of my courses. He's doing exactly what I tell people to do when I run the training. Then he's got that space and he's got a little straight up thing called a pipe. And what the pipe means is Google. I'm going to give you a new phrase. So he comes to the second phrase. Pension transfer advisor. And exactly that's what people are looking for. That's the second phrase. And his third phrase, which is going to be wealth manager. So this guy's doing exactly what he's got to do over here. If we go to this person, can you see wealth consultant? They've got all of those words in the searches there. Wealth management consultant. We go over here again. Let's take a look at all of these. They've all got wealth management or wealth consultant in their profiles. So if we hop over to, let's go over to my profile over here. And again, I say, 
either buy my course I'm going to show you later on, I'll show you exactly what to do, or I'll come in and work with your company. But what you've got to do is you've got to optimize your profile. Now, my profile is optimized for key phrases, four key phrases. You can see there's sales and marketing speaker, social media speaker, YouTube presenter, virtual presenter. And those phrases go right throughout my whole profile. So when Google is scraping or when LinkedIn is scraping, it's going to pick all of those up. It's going to see all of those. And uh, guess what? It's going to put me up onto the first page of LinkedIn. LinkedIn now probably the fourth biggest search engine. Google scrapes LinkedIn. And you saw that. If you come in and you do that search of me, I've got onto the first page purely by using LinkedIn and YouTube. So there's some great strategies that we should be using straight away. So we've seen that there with LinkedIn. Optimize your LinkedIn profile. Personalize your messages as well. Now, I've, I've spent virtually thousands on every LinkedIn course that's out there. I bought every LinkedIn book. Just this morning, I went in and bought a whole lot of more products on LinkedIn because I want to know everything about it. For me, this is the new cold calling, absolutely the best platform on the planet. And I've put together a whole series of personalized messages. And again, this is not from me. This is what I've found from the top experts. Don't try and reinvent things. Just learn from the top experts. So when someone wants to connect with you, this is just an example over here. Hi, Pete. Three dots. That means there's more to come. Yes, I'm very happy to connect. Thank you. Please let me know if I can connect you to anyone in my network. Can I ask what prompted you to connect? Thanks in advance. Now, that's the kicker over there. Can I ask what prompted you to connect? Because that's going to start up a conversation. Oh, I see you're also living in Hong Kong and we belong to the same sports club or whatever it is. You know, we belong to the, the yacht club and now you, you've got something in common. You start talking to them. Don't try and sell to them. You've got to establish your expertise first. So that's just a little bit. By the way, there's stacks and stacks more on LinkedIn. We would need with some of the companies I work with. We do like a half a day just on LinkedIn. The other thing I'm going to hop back over here again is you've got to post regularly on LinkedIn. So I post every day. And there you can see this morning, uh, I posted an interview I did with Zig Ziegler. And uh, so videos don't get as many views as normal posts. But there I've had 274 views of that video. But I've had 43 comments where I start conversations with people. And that's the really important thing where you start those conversations. You can see there. If I come into some of my other posts I've had here, and by the way, in the course, I also speak about gifts and how they just, you've got to grab someone's attention. Another thing you've got to do, capitalize and ask a great question there. But if we have a look at that, 1,422 views, but also mix business with pleasure. Every night I do my whiskey tasting. And I put my whiskey tasting reviews up here. So there's 41 views. You cannot believe the kind of people I've met through that there. I've met one CEO of one of the biggest companies. I would never, ever get in front of them. He's a single malt fundy. And he got in and said, well, let's connect. Let's start speaking to each other. I had another lady the other day, CEO of a company whose husband loves it. I'm meeting up with them soon. You develop rapport and the business follows. I've got one of the top comedians in England who saw that as well. He's invited me to come in and join one of the most exclusive single malt and cigar clubs because I do cigar reviews as well. So don't just be nailing them with buy our financial services, buy us, we can release your pension. Mix up, get a nice mix of the personal, your hobbies, your, your loves with what you're doing. And again, there you can see there what is right brain selling big thing I speak about is right brain selling. Uh, that one had 1,700 views there. Uh, Mehdi Fakhizadeh, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of him, the legend in life insurance. 
uh, the greatest salesman ever in, in life insurance, multi, multi billionaire, passed away a few years ago, but I did an interview with him. And that's my interview on his whole take and his philosophy on life. Mixture, there we go, cigars. Uh, there we go, cigars. And then I come back, maybe bring in a bit of sport. There's another one, 1,291 cigars. So mix it up. You've got to be doing this regularly. If you do that, LinkedIn's going to say, well, look, you're really involved. Um, we're going to put you up there. So LinkedIn is a great, great place. And because of timing now, I want to take us to a few other places over here. And that's using Zoom. Because right now, Zoom is the best vehicle we have to be selling remotely. Uh, I know some of my clients in financial services are making more money now than they've ever made. Why? Because they can get in front of their clients. They can share things on the screen. So Zoom is just brilliant, but you've got to learn it and you've got to do what I'm doing. Have that interaction. Go. Don't just give them a PowerPoint show. Uh, let's just stop the share there. So Brian, Brian Matthews in, in Ireland, I was speaking to him a little bit earlier on and Brian was just saying uh, he saw one yesterday. And it was just like PowerPoint show, PowerPoint, PowerPoint, really, really boring. So make it really interesting for your clients. And also you can go live. So if you want to just do a thing on how to release your UK pension or five biggest mistakes in choosing a financial advisor, go out there. You can put it live on Facebook or live onto YouTube. Here's one of the other things, please dress for success. Every time you get onto a Zoom call, make it exactly as if you're going to go and see that person in their office. Um, I've seen some people, they get onto the call and they dress like really badly. If you're going to get on with the client, it's those first impressions that do everything. Get a great background behind you as well. You don't want to be seen like you sitting in a room at home or something like that. And I'll show you now what I do. But the other thing is you've got to psych yourself up for enthusiasm. You've got to be so enthusiastic and you've got to have great, great eye contact. You can see now I'm looking straight into my little Logitech over here. Biggest mistake so many people make is they, they're looking around their screen and they're doing things here, totally losing eye contact. If you were sitting in front of a client, you're not going to be looking around and doing things you're looking into their eyes. You've got to do exactly the same kind of thing when you're with them. Now I'm going to show you my office here. Let's go out of this here. So let's just move over here. So let me stop the share. So my office, you've got to set yourself up professionally. You're working from home now. So this is my office. Get yourself some good lighting. Just go onto the internet. You've got to have good lighting. So that's my one light there. That's my other light over there. I actually have a professional microphone. I paid 600 pounds. Just get yourself a great microphone, even a little clip on one for 20 bucks. You're not going to tell the difference between 20 bucks and 600 bucks unless you're doing a professional podcast. But over here, get the best equipment you can um, in your budget. And then the other thing is get yourself a good background. If you just go into uh, Google, do a Google search and type in free Zoom virtual backgrounds, you'll come up with some amazing backgrounds that are free that you can be using. I mean, I have everybody that says to me, Gee, Frank, you, you, you've got a fantastic house. No, I'm, I've got a converted bedroom. That's my office here, but it looks pretty cool. And again, we know if we come down to the bottom left hand corner over here, We've got the virtual backgrounds and uh, this is really what it looks like where I'm sitting right now. And if you look at my chair, take a look at this. This is the coolest thing. That's my chair with a big set of wings on it. How cool is that? So every time I'm doing a webinar, I just get onto this chair with my big wings, come up a little bit closer and then I can choose which house I want. Uh, I'm, I'm a Freemason. So last night, we were all going to be at the beach, so I could just put that uh, little beachy background behind me if you're doing a corporate kind of thing. So uh, there we go. And you can, you can even have moving backgrounds. So look at that. It looks like the sea is flowing over there. Looks pretty realistic. I had my dark glasses and a little hat on and 
that was a bit of fun. But what I would say is don't make it look weird. So if I'm talking to a client, I'm not going to have this background behind me because he's just going to be thinking, you know, that's like weird and wacky. So find like what looks like maybe a good office background or if we're working from home, something that looks like a home. So that looks realistic. That looks like a home. And again, anyone who's leaving now is standing a chance of not winning our prize. We've still got our prize. Anyone want to win that prize later on? Yeah, yeah. We're still, oh, okay, fantastic. We're all still here. So let's go back in here again. And then also reassure the client, especially if we're selling from home now, reassure them that we've still got our offices. We're all working from home now. We're in a different world. It's a whole different sale. Do not kill them with PowerPoint. Go in and out as I am. Yeah, share the screen, come out, make eye contact, talk to them, and do another thing. Ask them questions. So uh, I always say to people, if you've got any questions, please put it into the chat box. By the way, if anyone here has got any questions, please put those into the chat box there. I can see those. I can bring those up. And because our clients want the interaction, they don't want to be sold at. They want to be part of the wholesale. They want all of the questions. They want you to stop. The great time now is often we'll be selling to families. So you'll have the husband and the wife together there. And what I'm doing now is I can make that eye contact. I can see Craig there rubbing his eyes and I, I can watch everybody on there. I, and you can see whether you're boring them or not. So I always say to them, please put on your, put on your video so I can see you. Because we've got to simulate a face-to-face -face situation. That's what we've always done. But we're in a new world now. So how do we change that? How do we get that great interaction with all of our clients? So we've got about 10 or 12 minutes left. At this stage, geez, I've got so much I want to share with you. But have we got any questions? Just unmute yourself and ask any questions on anything, LinkedIn, connecting, anything. Just unmute. We've got time for questions or even put it into the chat box. Yeah, Michael? Yeah, Frank, um, we have a team of sales advisors across the UK. So what you've talked about so, so far seems very much about you as an individual and your personality. So how, how do you balance off promoting individuals whilst retaining a corporate image and profile? Okay, so there's, there's two things. You've always got to do the corporate profile, but remember the big thing, people buy from people. So you might be working for some James's place or something big, and that's where you've got to talk about then we get back to our normal sales pitch. So if I'm going to speak to somebody right in the beginning, I'm going to be doing my old Ben Duffy, who I am, who my company is, how we can help them. So that's the whole corporate thing over there. We're part of this big organization. We've got 200 advisors over the UK. So that's where we get back to our normal sales pitch. I'm on, online with them now. Uh, I'm saying, David, uh, you may have some questions on your mind. You want to know who am I? Who's my company? How long have we been around? What's in it for you? What's in it for me? And the first five minutes is going to be that rapport. So, Michael, that's where we're selling the whole corporate, who we are and what we're part of. And then we're going into selling ourselves, where people buy from people. So, great question there. Thanks, Michael. Any other questions? Uh, Frank, uh, this is Jitendra here. Uh, see, the scenario over here in uh, UAE or Dubai is very different in today's time, especially when we have around 85 percent population of expats yep. and and there are no prs here so they all are here for temporary time and in today's time because of the fear uncertainty instability um it's difficult for people to see the future whether they would be here or they would move back to the countries or what will happen with their earnings so uh, things are getting postponed and uh, people are not get not getting hooked on on what they were supposed to how to deal the situation in your views? For me, the big thing is your target audience. So if our target audience is way down here and they're thinking, I've got to go back again, things aren't working for me, change your target audience and go to those people that are positive, that are thinking I'm going to be here for the long term. You know, that's why I'm going to go in for lawyers. They're going to be there forever. They're going to be dentists. I might go for airline pilots on Emirates or whatever. So yeah. change your target audience. Again, I've always tried to deal right at the top. These people are millionaires, billionaires. They think big. They see positive into the future. If right. I'm going to go and see somebody 
that wants to spend 50 bucks a month, first thing they're going to cancel is their insurance or, you know, and they're going to think negatively. So Absolutely. again, it, it comes down to that profiling your target audience, always about your target audience. Absolutely. So great question. Thank you. Great. Just the Craig Holding here in Dubai. Um, this is about hunting and posting on LinkedIn. I feel as if I do a reasonable job um, from time to time. But in terms of actually getting content that people want, um, I think in the past you've used things like Fiverr, is it? Where they kind of write apps and things on those ones. How do you get the articles for topical things like, I don't know, for me it would be Australian tax and all the rest of that sort of stuff. How do you actually get that content so I don't have to create it, I'm just resharing it? How, what's the best way of doing that? Okay, so great question. There's a couple of, uh, I did a whole thing on article marketing yesterday. Uh, let me go in here again. There's, there's places where you can buy pre-written articles. There's one called Constant Content, uh, constantcontent.com, where you can go and buy pre-written articles. And what you want to do then is once, have I shared the screen there? Let me just make sure I've shared. Let me share the screen. So there's constant content where you can go and buy pre-written articles. But once you've bought those, you must use a thing called article spinning. So that's where I go to Fiverr and I get them to rewrite that article in a 50% new way so that Google sees that as an original article. Google doesn't like duplicate content. So you can go there. Another place you can go is iWriter. iWriter.com. There we go. And uh, one of the favorite places that I, uh, I use is Quora. I don't know if anyone has used Quora, Q-U-O-R-A. So what I do with Quora, I go in and I ask questions. So I've got stacks of questions over here. Let's have a look at my content. You can see, can you business survive in a coronavirus? How can I promote online courses? So over there, if I was you, Craig, I'd be going in there and I'd say, what is your biggest challenge if you're an expat in Dubai uh, with financial? And you're going to get people coming there and they're going to answer that. So there's one I put, how can I promote my online courses? And I've got 11 people <coughs> that have come and given me great answers. Now, what I do is I'll just take all of that stuff, copy, paste it into a Word document. And then I'll say, based on res my recent research I've done, here are some things that people would advise. So Quora is just a great place to go and get people actually talking about what their challenges are in a non-threatening way. If I go as a financial advisor, people are going to close up. But if I go on to Quora, people are going to, you know, I've just I've got my independence. So that's a great place to go. That's great, Frank. Thank you. Any other questions? Any more questions? Okay, so before we have our prize draw, I'd ask you one more, please, Frank. Just on webinars, what's your thoughts on webinars? Everyone seems to be doing webinars at the moment, and and I think people are getting a bit fatigued on that all the time. And I did one; I had about fifty people come on. I thought it was not, not bad for my first go. But what what's the best type of webinar to do? Is it you interviewing someone else? Is that the best type of webinar, or is it providing <laughs> more content? Dang, it just depends on the purpose of it. So. Uh, if it's going to be just entertaining, I might be like, I'm going to be doing a Freddie Ravel on keyboards. It's going to be very entertaining, but we've got a purpose because at the end of it, Freddie and I are putting together a program aimed mainly at musicians that we want to sell to them. So by doing the webinars, we're going to record them, put those into a package over there. Webinars at the moment, if your webinar is boring, people are going to click out of it. You're going to get ding, people are going to be gone. So you've got to be excited. I mean, I woke up this morning, I was knackered. And I was like two cups of tea and a Red Bull. You, you've got to be on your game. It's the same thing. You go and see a client. You know, you psych yourself up when you get in there. It doesn't matter if you're sick or anything. You're on your game and you're going to be selling to them. It's exactly the same online. In fact, it's even more important online because there's no distractions. They're just looking at you. But you've got to make it entertaining. You've got to add in some funny things over there. You've got to jump in and out like I'm doing that as well. You've got to ask questions. Most people just go, here's a PowerPoint presentation, one, two, three, four, five, boring. People click out of that. And, and what I love over here, you've got the, I like using Zoom, but I don't use the webinar version. I just use the normal Zoom because I can look into people's eyes. If you use the webinar version, you can't see the people. 
I did one the other night and it was absolutely horrible. I couldn't have any interaction. I couldn't see anyone. I want to see people laughing and smiling and, and asking questions. Any more questions? Okay, I'm going to go into my little sales pitch now. I'm, listen, I'm a salesman at the end of the day. I want to show you my new baby that I just love this. I've been working on this for actually two years now. And today is my launch date of it. So uh, let me show you. Yeah, it's a program. Some of you know that, uh, you know, we, you mentioned before my course, my 15 CD course or my three CD course. So for two years, I've been putting together what I want to be the biggest online training program for financial advisors. Um, I've been working on it for ages and ages. Uh, and let's just go through what it's got here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what it's actually got. As I've said, it's two years. I've converted my garage in Orlando into a studio. So it's actually got 281 videos. And it's going to be everything from the basics, going back to basics or telephoning or whatever. So if you've got somebody that works for you, that's just a, a phoner or something like that, they can use that right up to the advanced things that you've been seeing now, how I use Meet Alfred, how I use LinkedIn. Every day, I guarantee to get about 25 great leads by using some of these strategies. It's got 106 audios. It includes every CD series I've done. Plus some CD series I've done with other people. There's one that was a six CD set with one of the world's top people on NLP in selling in financial services. I mean, just that series we used to sell for a hundred dollars. It's got 12 eBooks, seven sets of scripts, and it's, I'm going to be selling it for 497, but for everyone on the webinar for the next two hours or for today only, there's going to be 50% off. And again, I will, I will take it off. After today, it's going to go back to 497. Um, and let me show you what it consists of over here. Again, this is normally the time people start leaving and they're going to lose out on their prize. Take a, let's take a look and see. So you can go and you can download. I'll, I'll put it into the chat box in a few minutes. But yeah, you can see the different sections, planning, working from home, telephone. Take it all, look at all this stuff on telephone strategies there. There's an interview with Alan Pease, who is the world's top cold caller and also best guy on body language. Craig, you'd know that coming from Australia. So, and then prospecting. I mean, just take a look at the different areas on prospecting, every kind of thing. And it's also color coded. The green are videos, yellow are audios, reds are scripts. Google advanced search strategies. I've just touched on that. There's a whole section on how to do that. Massive section on LinkedIn, plus all of the templates to connect with people. Pre-call planning, first appointment. There's a whole section on left and right brain selling, questioning, follow up, 10 habits, big section on personality styles, body language. And that's the section on NLP uh, that I did with this expert. And then a whole thing on marketing, how we can market ourselves as financial advisors. So a big thing on blogging and article marketing. I've just showed you one or two things over there. There's a massive section. Everything I do is systemized. Whether it's videos, there's a 17-point system. Articles, there's a 10-point system. So those are all my systems. 10-touch plan for clients. Huge section on videos. Videos is absolutely massive. I'll show you how to make the videos, create them get out onto YouTube, do live streaming, Facebook, Twitter, visual, Pinterest, social media. And the third section is all about goal setting. So how do we find clients? How do we sell to them? And then a massive section over there, a series on how to be more confident, happy. So you can see it's a huge, huge program. I'm going to be going out to all of the big companies in the future. Hopefully they'll be buying it like in America for their advisors. Um, and again, I'll put in those links there. So for just for today, it's going to be 248.50 instead of 497. And what I do guarantee is if you go through the whole course and you find you haven't got value from it, I'll give you 100% of your money back again. So I can actually go in and see how much of you've done. But I'm that confident that you're going to make between 10 and 100 times your investment. So I'll just put in the links for you right now before we have our winners. Also, please follow me on 
everything. Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn every day, I put out incredible stuff over there. It's just good free stuff I'm putting out there. And I'm just gonna put in a couple of links here into the chat box. Let's go to the chat there. Any views on Facebook and paid advertising? Okay, good question. Depending on where you are and your target audience, I know a few advisors that are doing incredibly well on Facebook advertising. But again, it's a, we don't have time to talk about it, but yeah, it's a great target area. Two places, Facebook advertising and LinkedIn advertising and even YouTube advertising. I mean, just another thing on a side is uh, starting Facebook groups. And I've started Facebook social groups, which are great because now those people become friends of mine. Once we're friends, I can then go in and I can sell them the products or services. The old way of just hitting them with a the direct sale just doesn't work anymore. I think posting in groups of people you want to connect with better than the pay. Absolutely. I agree 100% there, Craig. So form those LinkedIn groups. If I'm back in Dubai now, I would be having a maybe cigar smoking group. I tell you what, people who smoke cigars are normally very wealthy people. When I go to my Corona cigar bar in, in Orlando, uh, outside there's Rolls Royces, there's Bentleys. These are great people. Just a, a few more minutes. I want to tell you a great story. I, I was there one day and I was walking up and down the aisles with my basket and some guy looked a bit familiar and uh, he's got his basket and we start talking to each other and, he, and he's got an Irish accent and, and I said to him, what's your name? He says, I'm Eddie, I'm Frank. And we chat. I said to him, what do you do? So I've got a few little businesses, a little bit shy and all of that. I get home and I thought, geez, I recognize that guy. It was Eddie Jordan, the guy who owned the F1 company. And he was walking around getting all these cigars there. So again, the whole social side brings it all back to what we're doing. People buy people before they buy anything else. Uh, what kind of eBooks? There's, there's all kinds of eBooks. In fact, let me put a couple of links in where you can just hit them and look at it afterwards. Yeah. Uh, let me find the links here. So that's the table of contents I'm going to put in there. Uh, let's put that in. If you want to go in and see the table of contents, that's the one there. If you want to see my sales page on the course, so just hit these links and afterwards you can go and take a look at them. That's it there. This is the direct link if you want to get the 50% off. And again, it's, it's not a gimmick. Tomorrow we'll take it off. There we go. And, uh, and again, if some of you don't want to do that, you can also go in and just do uh, $29 a month. I put in for some people might just say, listen, I haven't got the bucks right now. Things are tight. So I've made it equal. So you can either get the full course at, at half the price or $29 a month. So just hit all of those links now. They'll open up the pages that you can see afterwards. But I promise you, it is the most extensive course. So those of you that have listened to my CDs before know that there's great, great value that I give out there. And uh, the other thing, those that buy the, the full course, there's updates all the time. On Thursday last week, I spent 17 hours in one day updating changes to some of my courses because of changes that are happening on LinkedIn. So as anything changes, you'll get those courses updated. Uh, are you going to share this video from today? I want to show it to my sales manager. Um, in fact, what I will do is just, if you all just drop me an email, because I've got one this afternoon, just saying, can you share the video link? I'll do that with you. And also remember, Con, I'm available to come in and work with your team as well. Uh, I'm working with teams all over the world. And when I work with the teams, uh, Jitnal, now I'm working with his team, where I actually went in, opened up all of the people in their team, their LinkedIn profiles and said, fix that, fix that, fix that. Here's all of the things you've got to do. So that becomes really specific for the companies. Today, we've just touched the, the sort of edge over here. So if you want me to come in and work with your team, I can do that. If you want to do any one-to-one -one stuff, I can do that with you as well. I'm available for all of that stuff. And uh, there's the whole course there. I, I would say to every, if I was you, I would say, Frank, hang on. I'm going to hit that link and buy the course now. I can't wait to get started. And again, this you'll find some of the stuff are very basic. But if, if I'm, let's say I'm out in Jakarta now, 
and I've got a guy who's maybe hitting the phones for me, I'll say, I want you to go and listen to that whole section on the phoning. I'm really established now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to LinkedIn and I'm going to look at some of the advanced stuff that I'm going to use there. So don't say some of the stuff is basic. Use what's important to you and just work your way around there. Um, and I'm always experimenting and looking at new things that I can use. I'll just, before we finish, show you one new thing that I'm working on lately. I, I invest massively on things. I, I was working out, I pay about two and a half thousand dollars a month on all kinds of things that I invest in. And this is one that I'm using at the moment. As soon as I've learned how to use it properly, uh, I might put it out there. Let me just find it here. It's a little thing called Meet Alfred. I don't know. So there it, there it is. Uh, I just make sure I'm sharing my, am I sharing my screen? No, let me share my screen. So this is Meet Alfred. Somebody told me about this a little while ago. I've gone in and I've invested in this. And this is great because I go and find my target audience over here. I can do all kinds of things. Uh, I can send them a message. And what this does over here, it, it impersonates a human. So like every four minutes, it'll send out an email. So it doesn't, LinkedIn doesn't think, hey, listen, you're using some kind of bot. I'm going to ban you over here. So it simulates human behavior. And yeah, you can see I've got one for financial advisors. Um, it's going out to 975. So far, 210 messages have gone out. I've had 18 replies. So this is brilliant. This is just a great little tool that I'm using here. Here's all of the replies I'm getting. Now I start interacting with these people. Another thing that I'm, I'm using over here is if you go and look at somebody's profile, they're gonna go and say, wow, why is that uh, looking at my profile? You do it twice, they get curious. You do it three times, and they're going to say, listen, I've got to contact this guy and ask him why, and you start a conversation. So what that'll do is for a whole lot of people, every week, I go and look at their profile, and this goes and checks their profile. That person's saying, listen, why are you looking at my profile? And off about four or five times, I'll come back, they'll start talking, and that's where the conversation starts. And it's again, it's our whole new world of doing financial services. We know with the virus now, we've had to change. I've had to change so many times. Cold calling in South Africa, coming to London, doing business in a new way, traveling around the world, meeting great, great people out there, seeing how they do business. And now totally having to change. Even my business, I'm a motivational speaker. Motivational speaking is dead. I've had to reinvent the business where I can do my speaking uh, online now. So just think about how we've got to change there. Um, Michael, got to go now. Thanks for the session. So again, any questions, just drop me an email. Let me put in my email over here. There we go. Frank at frankfurness.com. Um, please take a look at those links. And I'd say to you, please get that course. It's, you'll make at least between 10 and 1,000 times your investment. I promise you. It's taken me two years to put that together. So have you uh, got some great ideas? In fact, everybody, just to finish into the chat box they put in, what is the one idea you've picked up today? Let's just type that in to the chat box. What's the one idea you've picked up?